This episode is brought to you by Safety Wing. We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be seeing only through textbooks and TV. We're here at the airport in Hong Kong, but not for long, because we are about to hop on a three-hour flight to take us to Cebu City, one of our favorite places in the world. Then we have a three-hour and 45-minute drive to get us to the southern tip of the island, where we're going to have an incredible few days at the Fantasy Lodge. We have a lot of really cool adventures in store. Let's get to it. Lockwoods are back in the Philippines, and it's all because of you viewers who keep posting and commenting and telling us about all these amazing places that we have to discover. So we keep coming back to the Philippines to experience more, and I have a feeling we're going to keep coming back even after this trip. But for now, let's get on the plane. <laughs> I think Philippines is one of the easiest countries for Americans to travel to. The red tape is minimal. All you need is a valid passport for six months after your arrival, a proof of vaccination, and there's an easy online form to fill out. You get a QR code and that's your health declaration. All right. Hey, raise your hand if you're excited to go to the Philippines right now. And what are you more excited to do? Whale sharks or canyoneering? We're going canyoneering? We should note, we've been traveling for a very, very long time. We started off in Bali. We had a four hour flight delay, a five hour flight, and then an additional nine hour layover. And now here we are. You're all caught up, <laughs> but they're not caught up in sleep. Can we board now? Yes, yes we can. Oh my gosh, look at this mega line. <laughs> this line's nuts. I wonder if there's any like organization to it, like if they board by rows or anything. Economy, so just just class. Well, they just pulled us out of the mega line because we have a 10 year old. Thank you so much. Younger kids, they're letting board a little bit early. I can't believe that Phil remembered that Brooklyn's 12 now because she just had her birthday in Bali. Are you happy about it? Our worldwide travels have become more adventurous with each new destination. From sailing between islands in the Caribbean and swimming with sharks in the open Pacific, to rappelling down waterfalls and petting king cobras. But adventure brings risks, and we don't take that lightly. Lucky for us, we found Safety Wing. Their global travel medical insurance ensures that no matter where we travel outside of the U.S., we're covered against accidents and illnesses that require medical assistance. That kind of protection comes in handy when Colt gets appendicitis in the middle of Mexico, or when he catches a virus in Vietnam, or when he gets bit by a toke in Thailand and Bali. Why is it always cold? Huh? Safety Wing goes above and beyond to help whenever you need it and no matter where you are. It literally takes seconds to connect with a real human, and there are never any battles over benefits. They don't even lock you into exact dates or countries for your trip. And it's awesome that Safety Wing's policies cover kids under 10 for free and include protection for travel delays, lost luggage, natural disasters, and more. So take it from us and stop traveling without the right protection. Head on over to followabc.com insurance to get a free quote right now. It only takes a few minutes and you can get covered even if you've already left for your trip. Everything looks very familiar here because it's practically the same plane. Actually, this one's an A330 Airbus. Uh, the other one was a Boeing 777 that we took here. But same layout, same seat back, same UI for the entertainment system. Maybe I'll finish that weird Al Yankovic movie I started on the last flight and didn't finish because I fell asleep. I'm gonna brag about my husband for a minute. He knows about his airplanes because he was in the Air Force and he was a crew chief for a C-130, which is a pretty big deal. Shout out to my wife for remembering the name of my plane. It's the least I could do. <laughs> are we moving? We are, we're heading to Cebu. See you in the Philippines in three hours. We're landing. Guess what? We have all been wearing these clothes for uh, about 30 hours. I feel fully gross and I cannot wait for a shower. <laughs> They're a little antsy. Long, long, long travel day. We are so ready to get off this plane. And get on to our three hour and 45 minute car ride. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> It feels so, so good to be in proper humidity again. Love the humidity. 
and it's warm, I love it. And it feels good to be back in a country where we're allowed to use Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and YouTube and YouTube Studio. We need our bags and hopefully they've made the two day trip. I get a little nervous with the really, really long layovers, like they're set aside and forgotten about. We looked out, they were already waiting for us. Yeah. We're good to go. I know it's a long travel day, guys. You've been doing a fantastic job, so I'll let you pick out treats. Only if you can tell me what duty free means. You don't have to pay for any duty, so meaning like it's kind of like free of duty, or it means you don't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, I just realized Aaron already took our passports out front, and for duty free, I think you always have to have your passport and boarding pass, so we're gonna skip this and try to find something else. Hi! We didn't get anything. Okay. We need passports. Uh, mom jammed you up. All right, well, our driver is here. Okay. And he's right over there. Where? Well, he's getting the car, and we're supposed to wait right over there. The car for our resort is already here when we got here. Now we have our three hour and 45 minute drive. I wonder what we're going to see along the way. And I wonder how much work I can get done. I love working on the road, on an airplane, in a car. I get so much done. Hello. I guess you in front. Ah, cheers. Nelva from Mom Duty sent us a cheers. Our driver says it's probably closer to four hours and with traffic, it'll be five. And it all starts right now. And I feel nauseous because I sat in a car for five hours straight. Yeah, and that was a long five hours. My butt is so flat for sitting on it for so long. Oh my God. I could not feel my leg at all. Like my foot, like this entire section of my leg. I like can't feel. And then I sat down and how painful it was. I know, it is so hard to sit still for that long. And I'm so glad we get to stretch our legs finally. Yeah, our driver was right. With the traffic, that ended up being quite a bit longer than the original three hours and 45 minutes that we were expecting. But we're here now. Yeah. Samboan, southern tip of Cebu. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to Shella. We would not be here if it wasn't for her. She is a follower and a good friend to us. We appreciate you, Shella. Thank you so much for recommending. We are at Fantasy Lodge and we are about to find out, this is the moment of truth, if it's worth a five hour drive. Ooh, free breakfast, babe. I love me a free breakfast. That's so, so kind of you. They heard her birthday was last oh. Monday, so they're giving her a shirt. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. This is a long walk on the rocky rocks over to our room and we're carrying our bags, so it's taking us a minute. But we have the Family Deluxe Superior Suite. Oh. I want the ones upstairs. Oh my gosh. Yes, the five hour drive is worth it. Look at this view. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Look at the sky, looks like it's on fire. Look at our key, it's a fish. But this feels like a tree house. And it's a loft style, so it's really open on each side, but we have, I'd say, essentially two rooms, but they're lofts and they're open to each other. But this is really pretty. I'm so happy we're finally here. Let's take a look around. Bathroom's in here. Woo, turn on that light. Walk-in shower, sink, and a hair dryer. So I'm guessing that the other door is a toilet. Is that right, Brooklyn? Other? Yep. There is definitely a toke gecko somewhere inside this law. They call them toke geckos because they sound like they're saying, toke, toke. Yeah, Colt does it better. Seriously, it feels like we're in a tree house, doesn't it, guys? Let's check out the master. I don't even know if we can call them bedrooms. They're lofts. Oh, they are all twin beds. Oh no, Phil and I are gonna have to push ours together because we don't like to sleep apart. We always have to sleep together. So what I read online before we booked it was that this one has AC. It's not turned on right now, but that'll be nice. We'll, we'll be nice and cool in the evening. So twin, 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 
twin, twin, twin, twin. So six, yeah. six. Six twins. And then walls are limited to the curtains, so you can undo those. And you've got it around all three, three of the four sides up here for these beds. So you can at least block out the light. It's not gonna be a lot of privacy, but we don't need a lot of privacy most times. Most, most. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny moth looking bugs, mosquitoes, uh, giant ants, and so they're flying this gnat. So this is a natural resort. They don't use pesticides and uh, bug control or anything like that. The geckos really are the bug control. So Colt loves that. And we have a, a visitor on the wall over there. But it's worth it to be here in the view and the environment, but you do have to deal with some bugs. For the kitchen area, you've got a sink, uh, some cabinets down here with like eatery, cutlery, that sort of thing, some glasses. And then a mini fridge over here that has Coke, Sprites, Fantas, all the usual Filipino soft drinks, and then some beer and bottled water. Also, that's like a cash bar. We also have a dining area, this big picnic table, and the sofa over there, so it's kind of like a living room. And the fans are on right now, it's really breezy. I don't think there is AC, to be honest. I do not see any AC units anywhere in here, but... Yeah, a lot of fans, and that'll probably be okay once we get them all rolling. We couldn't have entered at a better time with the sun going down. So beautiful. We're starving. We've had such a long, long day, and we're ready for a good meal. So we're gonna check out the restaurant. This is how we lock the door. There is a lock right here. You undo with the key, and you stick the stick into there. And then I think you put the lock back on it. Put it in there. Take the key out. Voila, locked house. Let's go get dinner. Wow, it's pretty. So the restaurant opens, it's open until eight and then the bar is open until nine. So this is a really pretty place to get a cocktail. Okay, thank you. This menu is a real hodgepodge. They've got soup, burgers, empanadas, Vietnam wraps, dumplings, pizza, lots of pasta dishes, curry dishes. There's, it's like a fully international style menu. Now that it's darker, if you look over there, there are lights. You can see that there is another island because the Philippines has over 7,000 islands to explore. That's why we keep coming back, because there's more to explore. That island is Negros. It's a little larger in size, but Cebu City, where we flew into, is the second largest city in the Philippines, and it was originally the biggest city. You know, I don't know as much about the history as our friend's mom, Duty, did. They did a fantastic episode that really dove into the history in Cebu City. So they also make their own homemade rums here, flavored rums. Sometimes they've got banana, Delandin, is that how you say it, babe? Guava, jackfruit, mango, passion fruit, pineapple. This one is uh, passion fruit. They only have three tonight. Cranberry, passion fruit, and what's the other one called? Kalamasi. Kalamasi, the lemon-lime combo thing. Um, so I said, which one is best? And he said passion fruit, followed by cranberry. Let's give it a try. So it's just a little screw on cap, wax over the top of that. At least I think it's a screw on cap with wax on top. It doesn't smell like rum, it smells fruity. It doesn't taste like rum either, it tastes like a a fruity liqueur. Yeah, like a liqueur. It's very good though. Very good. I like it. Cheap too. 190 pesos. What? Yeah. 190 pesos? That's like $3 maybe. Yeah, like $3. Yeah, the entire bottle literally costs like half as much as my fish. All right, that's it. We're moving here. Don't put it past us. We're very spontaneous. Mangoes! I have been craving Philippine mangoes for so long. Since we've been out to Southeast Asia on this trip, I haven't had a single mango. So I had to get the mango salad. Mango's cucumber and a light vinaigrette. I think it's like a lime vinaigrette. Mm. It's so good. I love the mangoes here. I can eat them morning, noon, and night. I ordered a I order carbonara. <laughs> Brooklyn wanted something really healthy on the menu, so I got a steamed fish with cabbage, and I got the quarter chicken with Asian grill, and gave her a little bit of both. What do you think? And tell us which one you like better. <laughs> both are pretty good. Both are pretty good? Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite? How about a fish? I'm so happy that I finally got some mangoes. I ate the whole thing up. 
But I'm gonna take Colt back to our room. I'm gonna unpack a little bit, but Brooklyn's gonna stay here and get some dessert. Um, can I please get some strawberry ice cream? It's so good. It's just so good. Mmm, okay. tastes like a brownie. Colt is definitely missing out on all this. We're finally finished, and uh, we're gonna head back to the room now. Hey, bud. <gasps> Look at that, what service, wow. Good news, there's geckos everywhere. The bad news is that there's also bugs everywhere. And the reason the good news is there's geckos everywhere because there's holes and stuff, and there's a bunch of tokes that will they'll eat the bugs. But then the more bugs will just come in, so they'll they'll kind of keep it nice and debugged. I saw them eating bugs. So there's one in the bathroom who's probably chewing them on a bug still. So yeah, and they're helping us out. Good gecko boys. I had to take a shower. Two days of traveling, not good. I needed to feel refreshed. I feel much better now. It's like, what a difference a shower can make. And it was a cold shower because it's so hot. I checked, we do not have AC here. So our cooling system are these fans and a cold shower. All right, we have everything pretty much set up and bottom line is we do not have air conditioning. It is very hot and humid here but at the same time, it's extremely charming. The views are unbeatable, and we're in one of the most beautiful countries on the planet. We have no complaints. Also, my wife just took a shower. We have got so much planned in Cebu. We are going whale shark swimming, and we are going canyoneering. We're gonna do all the adventures because our followers told us we had to. So that's why we're here. We just spent the day canyoneering. It was about a 40 minute drive from here to Alegria where we did the canyoneering through the river. It was so fun. That is gonna be our very next episode, so stick around for that. But now that we're back at Fantasy Lodge during the daylight, we wanted to check it out a little bit more and see the other side of it. We just took the little rock steps down to the beach area here and it's a very rocky beach, but still a very beautiful one. The water is fantastic and crystal clear, of course. Swings, hammocks everywhere. And uh, there's a little something just up the steps here that we're gonna try out too. We're gonna have kawa baths. Kawa meaning a wok or a skillet. So they burn the coconut shells under there. I love how we're like using the coconut, eating the coconut, and the remains still get used as well. So they burn those under the, the skillet, the kawa, and it heats up the water. So it makes a little spa-like bathtub. And there are essential oils that we picked out too. I chose lavender and Colt picked lemon for Phil. Mm -hmm. Unlike a lot of mothers, I don't, on Father's Day, ask for <laughs> spa day, but I guess I'm ending up with one anyway. <laughs> That's right, it is Father's Day. Today is actual Father's Day and Phil gets a spa day. This is a toke, except it's right in between a baby and being close to full grown, not full grown, but big. And I thought this was like super rare because they, Careful. They grow from like super small to super big yeah. in like a month. Really? Yeah. They just yeah. have that one stage and yeah. then they grow super slowly. But this guy is right in the middle of it. This is going to be perfect because canyoneering was exhausting. I mean, we really exerted ourselves. We are so tired. Our muscles are tired. And this is going to feel really, really good. And we're cold because the water got kind of cold towards the end. And now we're freezing. It's almost ready. These flower petals are plucked right in front of us, right before they went in this. And it turns out Phil sent his peppermint, but it's not terribly hot. It's actually the perfect temperature because it's hot in Cebu, the weather's hot right now, so you wouldn't want it too hot anyways. And there are little butt pads on the bottom so that your butt's not sitting right on top of the fire because that would be scorching. But the water temperature is kind of right in the middle and it's just warm, lukewarm and it's kind of nice. This is my bath for the day, and I really, really needed it. It's starting to get really hot, actually. Yeah. Still waiting for mine to fill up, but I'm really curious now, how do they empty these? I mean, they're cemented down, so I don't understand how they get the water out of there. And I wonder if they put the fire out as soon as we're done, since yours is so hot already. <laughs> Touch the bottom. Yeah, my butt moved just a little bit and it touched the bottom. It's actually starting to get really hot. I think we just didn't wait long enough. It's, 
It's getting pretty toasty. Aaron's starting to cook in here. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I keep hitting my butt. Keep burning. You know what my favorite part about this is? The oils. It's like I can tell my skin is getting so moisturized. I think it's beautiful, but I am done. That's all I can do. I gotta get out soon too, my butt is burning. Look at my fire. <gasps> oh, that's what we're sitting on. Well, we've gotta gear up for another really busy day tomorrow. We are gonna go swim with the whale sharks, finally. So we have been convinced to try out whale sharks in Oslo because we didn't see any in Donsol, but I still really respect the, what they're doing in Donsol. So we're gonna compare and see what we think. So follow along, subscribe and comment. We wanna hear from you. And we're gonna be in the Philippines a lot more in the future, so stick with us. Kiddos? Yeah. Raise your hand. Oh, by the way, how do you say, fingers crossed, what do you do with your hand? Show me, fingers crossed. What? Whose kids are these? Watch mom, watch what mommy does. Oh wait, this, this, this? Wait, I can't do it like without like... No one can. Yes, That's... they can, I'm right here. <laughs> okay. Bruh, yeah. how do you do that? I got like, <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> How do you? Aaron went and talked to the front desk to see if we actually do have air conditioning in this room and they said no we do not. So we're definitely relying on the fans tonight, which I'm kind of excited about because I love sleeping in front of fans. I'm also kind of worried about because it's very, very, very hot and humid in there. Um, but I think more than anything I'm just wanting to, I, I want to keep talking because Brooklyn's the one holding the camera and it weighs like seven pounds and I just want to see how long she can hold this super heavy camera up. Monster. And I honestly think she might be holding it up longer than Aaron does without complaining. You do understand that I literally, I, I have a power to just drop the camera. Help you down. Another thing that I can really help out with, we go up that? top here, even with the fans, it'll be really humid and you'll be really hot and sweaty all night. But if we take our Cozy Earth, not a sponsor, but <laughs> Cozy Earth blanket, and we put it here, you'd think that it would be like warm because it's like that material against our sweat. It'd like be sticky and gross. But no, because we have the fans and it'll make it cold. And with the cold fans, Making it, keeping the thing cold, the blanket cold, and sleep under on top of the blanket, and it'll stay nice and frosty. So you can be a comfy boy. I like it. Thank or you, you can just, or here's something that I have no clue how it works, and I don't plan on finding out. You take a blanket and make yourself super warm, and like take off like your pants, I guess, and you put it on your chest and stick your feet out, your legs will get cold. For some reason, that's how it works. Your legs would just get cold. Yeah, that's why we sweat. I love it. Good job. You're welcome. Here's your tips.